Synthetic division is faster because what it does is it takes this process and do you notice, right? Every single time that we've done it, lots of things are in common, okay? For instance, um, have a look at the powers. Have a look at the powers of x. You get the x cubed and then the x squared. And then you get the same x cubed and x squared. And then you climb down one power, right? You get the x squared and the x. And then you get the same x squared and x. And then you climb down again, and you get the x and the constant, the x and the constant. It's very repetitive, okay? And so, being that I'm expecting it to just, every time I climb down a level, the x power is just going down one. If I know that that pattern's in my head, every single time I do this question, okay? I don't need to write that anymore. Like, you're gonna get very, very sick of doing this, and it's not adding any more information, okay? So the first thing is, Synthetic division, it saves time by eliminating out all of the x's, okay? Eliminates out all the x's. The important thing, um, uh, I don't want to say x terms, um, the x pronumerals is what I'm taking out. All I'm doing is I'm trying to make this more efficient. The most important thing are the numbers, the coefficients, right? That's what you're adding and subtracting. That's what really is um, important in this situation. So that's what it focuses on. Um, it focuses on the coefficients. Focuses on the coefficients. Now, there's one other advantage that synthetic division has, which is not only do you not have to write all the x's, which immediately makes this process like twice as fast, but it also, do you remember, I keep on coming up against, I keep hitting double negatives. Do you notice that? It's like I'm taking away a negative, taking away a negative. Um, not only is that slower, having to work at a uh, double negative is a plus, it's also very error prone. One of the most common errors to make is forgetting to translate a double negative into a positive, okay? So instead of subtraction, subtraction is what takes you, um, which makes you climb down this ladder, okay? Instead of using subtraction, it uses addition. Everyone's good at it. And you don't ever have to work about work out a, um, a double negative because you're never going to be subtracting something. You're always going to be adding it. If it's negative, that's okay. You add a negative number. Okay. So to demonstrate it, I'm going to have a go at this problem here, and I'm going to show you how to rewrite it in synthetic form. Okay. The place where I'm going to pick up is this point here. Okay. That's the point I'm going to pick up from. Now, uh, long division, you always start by writing the division sign to indicate that we're doing something different. You're going to write the division sign, but you're going to write it upside down. Okay, so write for me an upside down, draw for me an upside down division sign. Okay. Secondly, what we're going to do is we're going to write, again, the focus is on the coefficients. The coefficients, okay? So I'm going to take all the coefficients in the dividend, right, which are, read them out with me, three, and then one. Be careful, negative one. There's a minus sign, which kind of matters, right? If there was a plus, it would be, it would be a totally different answer. Minus one, zero. zero, and 11. One, two, three, four numbers. I'm just gonna write those numbers down, okay? The numbers are what matter. So I'm gonna go three, negative one, zero, 11. Okay, you're right with that? So see how the focus is on the coefficients. You kind of assume the last one will be the constant, this will be the x, this will be the x squared, that makes the last one an x cubed. Okay, so there are the coefficients. Secondly, because I'm going to make an addition instead of subtraction, I have to flip something around, okay? And the thing that I flip is the divisor. See how I wrote x plus 2 at the front here, okay? What I want is the opposite of that number there, okay? Minus 2 is the opposite of that number, so I'm going to write it at the front, okay? Like so. I'm almost ready to begin. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write a line, an extra line there, and I'm good to go. Now my synthetic division is going to start. First thing I do is I just take that number out the front. This is the leading coefficient of my dividend, right? And all I do is I just write them down. That's all you have to do. There's no change. Do you notice every time we were dividing through by this, right? You always just write down, it always ends up being that three that goes up here, okay? This was different, because it was, but it, that's because this wasn't money, okay? I write that down, and now my re repetition step begins. Like, you know how we keep repeating the same step over and over again? I'm gonna do it here. So, three, I'm gonna multiply. Three times negative two is? Negative six. Just gonna write it along on the next slot. Okay, I've already dealt with this 
number here, it just went straight down. Okay. And then I'm going to say, well, I multiplied, now I'm going to add. Minus 1 plus minus 6. Minus 7. Right? And then I do the process again. I multiply. Minus 7 times minus 2 is... 14. And then I add. What's 0 plus 14? It's 14. Right? And then I multiply and add one more time. So I multiply. I multiply, which gives me minus 28. And then I add, which gives me minus 17. I'm finished. That was it. That was the whole synthetic division. Now, admittedly, you now have to say, wait, hold on, what, what, what does that mean again? Okay. Do you remember, right, what we were, I'll come over here. What we were doing was we were dividing a polynomial of what degree? What degree is it? What's the three. power? Degree three, very good. Degree three. And we were dividing it by degree one, one right? Now, when you, I pointed this out now, almost our first lesson, right? When you do degree three divided by degree one, you should get degree Two, like your index laws mean division, three, take away one, gives you two, okay? So therefore your answer will be degree two, okay? And so if it's degree two, the first, the leading term will be an x squared, squared term. So I just take all these numbers and I pop them in order. This will be a three x squared. This is gonna be an x. This will be a constant. And what's that last number again? The it's the remainder. Does that look familiar? Okay. Boy, was that faster, okay? And admittedly, that took a bit longer because I had to explain what I was doing. Let me show you how quickly this works. And this time I won't explain it. Now you, you see how it works. We're just going to do it, okay? Um, let's do a cubic. Uh, let's, let's add as an example. Uh, let's make one up. So we'll go, I don't know, maybe 2x cubed plus um, 3x squared minus x minus 4, that'll do, okay? We'll do that, and we will divide by, let's go maybe x, no, that's too easy. <laughs> let's do x minus 3. Okay, now, yes? Uh, what do you, what if you have, what's that called again? Uh, you've got the dividend, then you have the divisor. Yeah, uh, what if the divisor has like x cubed and x cubed? Okay, all right, so, um, I will explain a little bit more as soon as I've done this, um, as I've done this example. Um, the short answer is, if you have those kinds of, um, if you've got those kinds of divisors, then you might as well go back to long division. However, and I'll explain a little bit more about why that, uh, that doesn't concern me. Even though this is most useful for this particular case, this particular case, that's the most important case. So that's why this is so valuable, okay? All right, ready to go. Hold on to your hat, because I promise it's gonna go fast. First thing, I do my sign, and then I pull out my coefficients. Two, three, negative one, negative four, okay? I pull out the opposite of this number here. This is minus three, so my opposite is three. Done, okay? I draw my line, and get ready. You'll blink and miss it, okay? First thing, I just write that number down. Two, okay? And then I, my process is multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add, okay? Multiply, add. Multiply, add. Oh, gee. Three times, this is what I get for making up a number on the spot. Three times 26 is 75, 78. Multiply and add. I'm finished. I hardly have written the first line by the time I finish this division, okay? Admittedly, I've got to write what my actual answer is. I divide the cubic, degree three by degree one. So I'm going to get a Quadratic degree two, so this is two x squared plus nine x. Take away, sorry, plus twenty six. Remainder seventy four, and then you get to go home. 